Hi, I'm Streaky, and today I'm reviewing the Dutch & Dutch 8C monitors. Oh, fuck it. So I've been testing out these new Dutch & Dutch monitors. They're from a company in the Netherlands, would you believe? They're called Dutch & Dutch mainly because a lot of the parts and a lot of the internals are locally sourced from the Netherlands, hence the name Dutch & Dutch. Uh, it's not because they're a laid-back speaker. Sorry. They are an amazing speaker. They have, they are called the 8C. Now the 8 stands for the um, eight inch subwoofers that are on the rear. And the C stands for cardioid. Now, the way you normally hear about cardioid speakers is for a lot of live use. Now subwoofers for live shows normally have cardioid um, style subs to stop the bass from going miles back from the stage or even going onto the stage. It's so that basically they they have some phase cancellation on the bass going backwards, which makes them cardioid around the front so that it's they're more directional. And also nightclubs use them as well so they can put them in different areas and then control the sound of the bass in different areas and blah, blah, blah. So these are you doing the same effect as that with they've got these slots on the on either side and this is projecting out these slots are doing some phase cancellation around the back for the mids so that you're not getting so it's just coming around the front you're not getting all this noise around the around the sides there's two subwoofers on the back as i say you get some software with them they they've got an ethernet cable where you link them up to your lan and then you can go into this software, tell it how far away from the back wall the, the subs are. You can also change the volume, you can change the treble and bass and things to, to adjust them, to get them, you know, to measure your room, try and get them as flat as you can. The back subs link to the wall, that's why it needs to know how far it is, to then obviously say how much bass it needs. It's got some DSP going on. It's super, super high tech, this speaker. You need to go on their website and read more about it, more than I could possibly tell you. Um, these are super heavy. I'll try and lift them round so you can see how heavy they literally are. So you can see the subs on the back. Um, geez. So these are, without a doubt, probably one of the best looking speakers I've ever seen. I mean, this is solid oak around the outside. They've got these on this side, as you can see. Oh my God, they weigh so much. They've got these beautiful grills. They come in loads of different colors that you can have. You'll see that on their website, Dutch and Dutch. Um, these front panels come in different colors, but the, the, the minimalist look I really like on them. Um, I, I really like the, the smoothness, the way that this all projects is just absolutely gorgeous to look at. They're, they're a fairly deep speaker, but they're obviously still in the near field range size. As you can see from that one there, they're not taking up loads and loads of room. I, but, I, but I think they're going to work best how I've got them set up, where they have got loads of space around them for that um, cancellation stuff happening. Now, how do they sound? Ridiculously good. They sound so good. Um, within the first five seconds of putting a track on that is kind of my normal reference track, I was just blown away with the, the highs. The mids are just so open and so, they're just, the clarity is superb. And then the bass is low, deep, um, the low mids, perfect. I could listen to them all day long. They're flat, they don't sound fake at all. They just sound really solid and like a massive set of speakers. Now they retail for about £9,000. So I'm guessing about $13,000, $13,000. Which to be honest, for a full range, big set of speakers, you'd expect to pay that. I think they're worth that money, I really do. They are definitely a pair of speakers you can play super loud. And when I say loud, they go incredibly loud and they keep their clarity at that level. And they go very quiet and they still keep the bass response and everything's really tight. 
So the bass is so fast and tight. I mean, if you like fast, I like fast bass, electronic music, I mean, excellent. Uh, heavy, low hip hop I was playing on there. They handle it perfectly. Really clean, really low. Lovely sounding speaker. So yeah, the Dutch and Dutch get a thumbs up and I'm going to give them a streaky rating of five out of five uh, without a doubt. So check them out. They're definitely worth having a look if you're in the market for um, something like a midfield speaker and you and you're looking you've got a budget of around ten thousand dollars a pounds then these are definitely worth having a look at. I don't think you'll be disappointed. So thanks for watching please subscribe, please leave any comments on things you'd like me to review or anything you need to know about mixing, mastering, listening to things better, getting a better sounding room, blah blah blah. I'll try and help you out and point you in the right direction. Um, yeah, if you want me to master for you, there's a code below for a little bit of a discount. Until next time, thanks for watching. Bye.